<laughs> Good morning, everyone. My topic today is generally a reliable rhythms of motion product. So from the title, we can know that the key word for today is rhythms of motion. Uh, the soil moisture is a very important parameter in climate system. It serves as an invisible hand because not like the sunshine, the precipitation, or temperature, we can actually see or feel it. The change of soil moisture for human, we can barely sense it. So it acts like an invisible hand that moves the energy and helps to improve the water exchange between atmosphere and land surface. So it is very important for weather forecasting and uh, also very useful in the hydrological cycle and the, the direct requirement for the agricultural production. There are generally three ways to obtain soil moisture recently. So uh, uh, the first one is ground measurements. And uh, this, is the map, this map shows the currently the soil moisture map me measuring network in the US. There are a total of about 30 networks in the US and we can see from the map each dot with different color and shape indicate one station in the US. So for Oklahoma, the station is very densely distributed, but for the North Dakota, it is very sparsely distributed. So here's the question, uh, here's the problem for the ground measurement. That is, it is only point-based and not evenly distributed, uh, not in the US, not mentioned in the world. And, but the uh, strong point of this method is that it is the most accurate measurement of soil moisture, so it can be used uh, as ground truth data. And another strong point is that it can provide a measurement of multiple depths. As long as you insert a soil sensor along a soil profile, it can provide multiple depth measurements. The second measurement, the second method is remote sensing. So currently, um, the Microwave remote sensing can retrieve a surface of moisture based on the back scattering of the land surface. So this map shows the product from remote sensing. So moisture, it, it is a very beautiful continuous uh, so moisture uh, coverage. So the strong point of this method is that it is very large spatial coverage. But the weak point of this method is that it can only obtain the surface uh, moisture, mo moisture because the signal will attenuate as the depth goes deeper, so the satellites are, are harder to receive or retrieve the information from deeper layer. And uh, compared to the ground measurement, this method is less accurate. So finally, uh, the third method for soil moisture measurement is from modeling. Currently, we have multiple models that, like a uh, global climate model, land surface model, and hydrological model that can provide soil moisture assimilation uh, at different depths. So here's the map shows the results from different model simulation. Generally, we can see it has also the same feature like the remote sensing data that it provides very continuous large coverage data um, of soil moisture and it can also give you the uh, the soil moisture measurements or soil moisture simulation at user defined depths. So we can have the root on soil moisture from modeling results. But it has a very strong weak point that it has large uncertainty because the model is not a direct measurement of the soil moisture. It's running from the model, so it uses multiple data sources as the input data, and the input data sources have uh, its own uh, uncertainty and errors, and these errors may aggregate as the final results come out. So this is the um, feature of the third measurements. So here comes the gaps I identified. So uh, we, this is the gap between what we want and what we have. So what we want is the accurate rhythm global coverage so moisture. But what we have, all the three products, uh, neither of the one can singly uh, satisfy the requirement of the three. So the only way that we can uh, achieve this goal is to combine all three products. So my work, uh, my interest is to uh, combine all the three methods and to generate a reliable large scale rhythm so moisture product. And this work is very meaningful in multiple aspects, especially in the agriculture, because all the crops, uh, fruits, and the vegetables need soil moisture to grow. 
and especially the rural soil moisture is very identical or critical for the agricultural production. If we can have the accurate rural soil moisture product, then we can have a very good pre-warning of the agricultural drought, and we can have very good um, planning or the ma uh, management of the irrigation very efficiently. And most importantly, we can have the yield prediction more accurately. And the yield prediction is very important for the food security and the food international trade and further related to the fight against the global uh, hunger. Okay, that's the end of our, today's topic. Thank you.